Hey everybody, welcome to this commentary playing Diana mid lane against Rumble. Ooh. Hmm. Uh I mean Rumble is able to harass so easily, so maybe Crypting Potion is better. You can try it. Because, like, he can just run past the wave and just, like, chunk me out. And if I go Doran's Ring, I'm worried that I'll just get chunked out too quickly. So maybe this will allow me to at least, like, stay in lane longer. It makes it so my, like, 1v1 stuff is worth and stuff. But it's not like I could ever kill this guy in a 1v1, I think. Unless I get a gank. So, if he ganks for me, of course. But for the most part, I think I can't even win until... Later on. Rumble's so tanky early, so... Normally, no champion can really beat him. Maybe level 4, I can finally start fighting. Be besides that, I'll probably just be looking to mostly hit the wave. Of course, I'll be trying to hit him, too, like, while last hitting. But that that's going to be the main thing. He probably started E, I'm guessing. But he could start Q because I'm melee. It's possible. It's possible. We'll see, because he should use it if he is on this wave here. Okay, he got perfect CS as well. We both don't want to shove, yet at least. Ouch. Kindred? Yeah, Silas is so weak early, so she's just invading on him. Not much that we can even do to help him either. Kind of blows for him. Why oh, that didn't kill it. Let's back away here. She's gonna go topside. This kind of sucks. Dodged it. We literally have no lane priority inside any lane. Okay, I'm level 3. I'll just rotate. No! Fuck, dude. This is so bad. Whatever. I'm just gonna back off. He didn't get the buff, so... I can just E on midwave here and I'll be fine. So troll. I mean, she can do whatever she wants because of the two losing lanes. Falling out a kill though, which is kind of nice. I'll probably have to TP back after this wave. Like, I'm low enough to even get killed, to be honest. I'll just wait for this EXP here, and I'll just back off. <clears throat> I put myself behind by doing that too. Oh. So we'll just TP back here. He has TP too, so even if I go on this guy, it's not going to be the best. At least Alice was able to take away something from her. It's kind of good. Is she really just sitting inside that brush? Seriously. I don't know if the ping actually means that she's in there or not. Then I'll play super far back, because I'll just die if I go in. I have no flash at this point, so... Mm, if this guy stays, I can actually fight him next wave. I'll be 6. I mean 5, so... And he hasn't backed yet, so he hasn't purchased. I still have one more pot, so I think I could maybe even fight him here. The issue is that he can TP back if the fight goes wrong, and I'll be in a really bad situation. Because I'll not have any more potions left, and he'll have items. Okay. 
Okay, that wasn't too bad. I'm chunking him a little bit. He really needs to reset. Okay, perfect. I was able to shove in the wave all the way, so he'll be busy doing this and I can actually reset. <clears throat> if he got a TP on the wave, it would have sucked because I, there was no way for you to kill a minion. So, that's actually so good for me. I'm going Rod of Ages, of course, because I need to be tanky. Being tanky versus Rumble means that I could fight him longer because it's not going to be a burst burst fight. And not only that, but like Dianish is better with being tankier so she doesn't get bursted down. You, you're a consistent damage dealer that has kind of a burst kit versus really squishy champions occasionally, so... We salvaged the bad situation. The flash up here was so bad. But it's okay. Okay, so probably uh, Dragon's gone, but we killed top lane. Oh, I don't one-shot it? Fuck. Mm. Okay, we got her. Nice. I don't have anything here. I just want to heal up. It was a good pick. I just used my E to get on top of her because it's worth me using the ulti there to kill her. And then we had more burst because we can one-shot with Silas. I think I like kind of hesitated though and I shouldn't have, so that was a mistake by me. Tiny mistake. Oh, it still worked out. We'll just queue the wave to prep it. One more queue and I can kill it. I probably want to get Catalyst purchase and then I reset. I don't think I'll be able to stay in lane because this guy doesn't go oom and I do. So I'll eventually want to get back some of my mana. Wait, I, I was completely fine. I don't know why she healed me. That was pretty random of her. Okay, cool. So I have Catalyst by here. Uh, we see where Kindred is. Almost killed Rumble. He really messed up by like overheating himself, and I knew I... I actually do have good consistent damage if I just QE, 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 QE over and over again, because I have Conquer and he doesn't. So once I actually stack it up to 10, and uh, if I can continue doing that, then I actually can't fight him that way, so... <clears throat> if I had ulti, I would kill him. Also, he had no ulti. That's another reason why I was fighting him. Of course, if he has ulti, you don't want to go like that deep because he'll use ulti to cut you off and I probably would have to flash away or something. So all these like tiny little factors are making it so I can actually attempt to fight him and get stuff. He didn't flash, did he? I don't think he did. Don't remember. So we can freeze this here. Just to force him to uh, step up here. To reset it. And it will keep me somewhat safe too. Wow, I missed my Q. That sucks. That would have been like pretty good poke. I need to have my Q available. If I don't have my Q, then um, I don't want to just E on top of him and then ulti. Or, I mean, I could have, but I think that it would have not been worth it. Because if Kindred's nearby, we would just automatically lose. And then if I had the reset on the E, I can just go on to a minion if we immediately get ultied by by him or something, so. Okay, so he wants to do dragons, so we'll fix this wave real fast. Like, two Qs, and then we just rotate and help him. So, boom. We push in. It's not like I want to fight this guy. I'll just rotate over to make sure that if Kindred comes, I'll be nearby. Okay, so they're already taking that top side. Hmm? I think Kindred's behind me here. She's probably on our Raptors right now, taking her mark. Most likely.
Okay, that wasn't too bad of a trade. I wanted that cannon so bad. Oh, what? She's still here. I have no E. Okay, we got her flash because she didn't know that I had no E. So... She was afraid of getting put into the ulti. And then she wouldn't be able to leave it, and then we can kill her. We can just look uh, to get down some better vision up here. We have TP as well. If a pipe broke out, I would have TP'd on that ward. That's what I was looking at. That guy's literally going to get one shot. He actually died way too fast. If he proc'd his aftershock, he would have been able to survive longer and then maybe out of TP, but I could tell that if I started immediately channeling, they would have just ran away. So there was no point in me TPing there. Okay, so we can get one plate here and then I'll back off there. That should be enough. I need to get my Rod of Ages here before TPing. Okay, whatever. I'll TP. I'll. We're going in. Just kill him. Nice. Oh, so close. Could kill them here if they stay. Okay, cool. So I'll just go by my Rod of Ages now. Why am I being pinged? Uh, they don't really have, uh, hmm. I already have Legend Tenacity, so I probably won't go Merc Treads this game. I was thinking about getting a uh, Null Magic there, so I would prep the purchase of Merc Treads, but I think I'll go Sork Boots. They don't have too much CC. Like, she has CC, but of course I already have the Legend Tenacity. That would be enough. I don't need to double stack it. If everybody had CC, maybe I would, but... Like a Braum Sedge. Or Leona Sedge with Ash or something, right? That would be like everybody, right? I do a lot of damage now, actually. If Kindred comes, I'm pretty sure I can just kill her. Yeah, that was pretty random of her. Like, let's say that my teammates weren't there. I was actually completely fine. I could just run away because of how tanky I am. So I'm not sure what she was trying to do there. She's just like tilt playing, I guess, because she is 0 4. Flash away. Make sure the thing doesn't kill me there. He was looking for the dive. So. I guess we just win the game now. That bot lane play was literally the thing that like wins you games. They're probably gonna they're gonna FF a fifteen this game. Literally, if you didn't get one huge play like that, what was that? I think we literally killed everybody for nothing. I'm pretty sure. I don't think a single member died. Those are the types of plays that win you games. And sometimes you can coordinate it, sometimes you don't. Of course, inside of your games, you're not going to be able to always coordinate with, like, see, he started channeling TP, so I do it with him. The thing is, you just need to do it together. So, because he started channeling it, it would have been better probably to get, like, my item first, maybe. But because he started channeling it, then I need to do it because I need to be there at the same time. Because it works better when everybody's there, even if you're going to be down an item. Because then everybody's on the same page about what to do. So...
That's actually important to, to know. Whenever you take TP and somebody starts to play, you should just follow it up immediately. It doesn't matter if you need to buy an item or anything. You, you need to follow it up. Wow, I'm surprised they're not FFing right now. Pretty sure we can just... Just dive, maybe. Or we can just engage with my ult. Too. If they engage, then I'm here. They might think that I'm not here, possibly, because I'm on top of a pink. Mm -hmm. mm, can you want top here? Ah, oh, fuck. I missed. That guy's probably gonna die. Oh, wait. He might not. Wow, he actually killed Kindred. Nuts. Ah, dang. If that landed, then I would've went in. Hmm. I still want to go in on these guys. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, I'm so tanky. So that's why I'm feeling like overconfident. Oh my gosh, if that landed I would have stopped my reset. Oh, I wish she tanked that for me. She's literally full HP. Oh, okay. To be honest, we... I, I can look for Rumble here. Uh, if Rumble stays, we can kill him easily. I have my ulti still, he has an ulti. Oh, dang, she's staying. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna reset then. I was gonna see if Rumble would try to shove out the wave if he sees that everybody's missing because he thinks that we all reset and then I would be able to kill him. But if she's just gonna go for the tower, then I'll reset and I'll go to side lane. It's fine. I'll, I'll go top here. I can probably fight this guy. <clears throat> I think I beat him. I kind of just need to play around his ulti. As soon as he pops his ult, I might back off, but he doesn't have Sheen yet, so like... If he had Trinity, maybe it'd be a bit harder, but he doesn't have it yet, so I think we're okay. Okay, so he's just gonna back off completely here, probably. I have TP if a fight breaks out. That's the reason why I'm even going on side lane at this point. I'm a little afraid of uh, getting like killed by an overextend though, so... I don't want to overextend and get myself killed or anything. I didn't even buy yet. How much money do I need? If he goes for this wave, I'll queue him here, sitting inside this brush. Because he just did that on the last wave, right? And he shouldn't have seen where I was, because I was doing golems at that moment. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll get that wave shoving. Whoa, 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 take the, take the thingy. Yeah, we can just take this. We don't need a fight. Holy fuck. That was a pretty big ulti. Why did they all stack? I'm surprised they actually tried to fight us. I'm not gonna flash here. I don't have my E available. That's what I really need. Smurf. Thanks, man. Okay, they FF'd. Yeah, I would FF2 after that one. Yeah, I'm not sure why they stacked so hard or opted to do that fight. That was kind of weird, but I mean, they, they were losing so hard, and they... I'm pretty sure some of them just wanted out. That kind of happened sometimes, so... It was a pretty good game. Good Diana game.
<sighs> She's actually so strong. She uh, and I saw that uh, for next patch they're nerfing her, so because this is patch 10.2 right now, what I'm playing on, so she will be nerfed next patch 100%. Yeah, I did almost most damage. Of course, this guy did a lot of damage. She's poking me during laning phase, so his damage gets padded a lot. So, and he's a rumble. Rumble deals a lot of damage. But hope you guys enjoy the commentary. I mean, during late game, literally that's all you do. You farm up and you get your items. And I don't even have two items at this point. And then you like, I could probably fight one v one versus this guy because I know I'm tanky and the conquered. Like that. That's how you play Diana. You just go in on people. And then if they ever stack, you just immediately go in and boom. If you hit like a three or four man ulti, you basically just automatically win the team fight. And they probably can't kill you because you immediately stack conquer when you do that and you get healed actually a ton while still dealing a ton of damage but i hope you guys enjoyed it it's a pretty fun game despite it being kind of one-sided i still enjoyed it <laughs> and i'll see you guys next time